Hi, my friends. It's Miss Linda here for Story Time. I have a book today that I think is a super important book that we read. Most of us have not been going to any kind of school for a while. Some of us have had some school and some online school. And some of us are getting back into complete school. So sometimes when we haven't seen people in a long time, we're a little bit shy. Sometimes when we go back into our classroom, we're going to find that there's new boys or girls that have moved while we were having our pandemic and staying home. And so this is a story about a little girl named Vanessa who is new to the school. It's a story about a boy who is not very nice to Vanessa, and that we call a bully. And then it's a story about another little girl who becomes Vanessa's friend. Now, Vanessa could be in our life a boy or a girl, and a bully can be a boy or a girl, and a friend can be a boy or a girl. So we're going to go through this story and we're going to see Vanessa, who is shy on her first day of school. We're going to see a boy that's not very nice to her. And we're going to see how a, a girl that didn't even know Vanessa becomes her friend. We don't have a name for her. So you, if you're a girl, you put your name in there when you look at this story. And if you're a boy, you make this a boy character and you put your name in there and you think about you being the one that's the friend. Now this book does not have any words and that means we can read it our own way. So I will, I will say a few things about the pictures, but you in your own mind decide what you see. The story is called I Walk, A Walk with Vanessa. It's a story about a simple act of kindness. This is Vanessa, and this is her new friend. The author is Karasut, and so we're going to begin our story, and it's your story, and we'll put our words in as we go. It has very small pictures, so I'm going to try to put it up very close, and I want you to look and see what you think in the pictures. So in those pictures, we saw a new little girl, Vanessa, in a new classroom. We saw her being shy. She wasn't offering to give answers or raising her hand. And we saw her sitting all by herself. Remember that picture? And they're playing. Here she is up here all by herself. Can you find Vanessa? Can you find Vanessa? She's by herself. It's hard to make friends, isn't it? Now they're walking home from school. What do you see? He looks pretty scary to me, doesn't he? Being a bully. Look how angry he looks. Okay, can you see? See what you see happening right here. What do we see? Bully walks away. He's feeling pretty fine. He thinks he's funny. Vanessa standing alone, a little confused. Here's the group of kids that were walking, but here's the girl that noticed she's turned around. Let's see how the rest of the pictures play out. Sometimes it's hard. 
when we see somebody being bullied, we are a little bit afraid ourselves. Maybe we're afraid that the bully will start picking on us. So what does this new little girl do? She watches where Vanessa goes. Now she knows where Vanessa lives. Does she run back to her friends? I think she went to her friends and said, how can we be friends with Vanessa? And they kind of look like they're not sure. They're a little nervous and they're a little shy themselves. Okay. So let's see what happens to this little girl that's going to be Vanessa's friend. So at home, you can tell she's very distracted. She doesn't sleep very good because she's thinking a lot about Vanessa. She feels like she wants to do something. So when she wakes up in the morning, let's see if she can figure out how to solve this. She runs out that front door pretty fast. I think she has an idea of what she wants to do. She has a plan, doesn't she? She's not going to just say, oh, I hope it's better tomorrow. She's going to make sure it's a better day for Vanessa tomorrow. She goes up and picks her up for school. It's always easier to go somewhere that's new with somebody that that's nice to you, huh? Let's see what happens with this girl helping Vanessa. What's happening? She's introducing her to her friends, isn't she? Here's the new girl, Vanessa, that she's saying. She's making lots of friends just because one girl was brave enough. I almost feel like we're looking for where's Waldo? That picture was like, where's Vanessa? So many kids are willing to be her friend now. Oh, 
that has a happy ending. I like stories with happy endings. And do you know what? Even grown-ups sometimes can be too shy. And even grown-ups sometimes can be bullies to other people. But we don't have to um, let bullies take over. We can be kind. We can decide to be a friend. And so when you're back in school, if you find somebody that's very quiet and maybe sits in the corner or eats their lunch alone, you can be the one. You can be the very one that goes over and says, come eat lunch with us. Come play a game with my friends. I hope that you can do that. I hope that you're willing and brave enough to make somebody else's life a little bit happier and you will feel good inside too. So my friends, be good friends to other people. You have a great time in school. Bye-bye. <laughs>